Hi and welcome to Tweet Street. I'm Mick Tiffany and I'm a novice lizard canary keeper and breeder. Join me on my journey as I strive to breed birds good enough for the show bench. Hello again everybody to episode 19 of Tweet Street uh, and my trials and tribulations as a novice lizard canary breeder and uh, we've had some ups, we've had some downs, we've had some enjoyment We've had a lot of new life, uh, and we'll be chatting about that uh, in this episode. Uh, I've also called it Dead Dumped, and something strange happened, and I'll tell you what that is. Uh, not actually in the Avery, something else. And uh, we've had some chicks I've had to move prematurely uh, that were out in the Avery, uh, and it wasn't that cat. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be chatting about this week. Uh, stay tuned, and here we go. Uh, some of you that, uh, if you were watching last week's episode, uh, I've been away on holiday. Uh, very nice it was too. I've just got a few little pictures, well, three little pictures. Um, little egret uh, wading away. This was over in um, Suffolk. I went lovely area uh, to go to, especially for bird watching. Uh, Sage warbler there, and this one's a reed warbler. Loads of them around singing well. Uh, the warblers there, they come over from Africa each year, and they breed here. Uh, they raise their young. And then you all migrate back to Africa, which is fantastic um, to go and see. Uh, also has its own challenges. They also take uh, hobbies with them. Not a hobby as in, oh, uh, I'm doing a, collecting a bit of Lego or anything. A hobby as in the bird, which is after uh, other birds and uh, other foods such as dragonflies, etc. So they'll migrate with them, following them because that's their food source. So that's the trials and tribulations they have uh, in their life. So I had that little break and uh, came back and everything was going okay. So that's fine. Still no cat around. Brilliant stuff. Um, really happy with. So we had some really hot weather uh, as well. Uh, we had the odd chilly night, chilly evening. Uh, but in the main, it doesn't seem to be upsetting the birds, which is great. Obviously before we were getting a hot day, cold night, vice versa. And it, it, it seemed to be throwing them out. Uh, but at the minute, they seem quite settled. I uh, don't know if any of you other breeders have had that same uh, thing happen uh, where you found it settled nicely, but it is obviously nice when it does. So we've had some, um, some new life. We were due to have four cages have young hatch tomorrow, Monday. Um, we've got one gone a bit early um, today. Uh, there we go, look, three. Uh, Chicks hatching out, three fertile eggs, three out of the four, three hatching out today, a day early. Interesting that just that one that one nest has had them all hatch. I assume, I don't know, but I assume there's a, a message that uh, you know, when they're pipping out of the shell, it sends a message to the other eggs and they're thinking, come on, if you join the party. Uh, I haven't looked into it, I swear I should. <laughs> That's what we're expecting. Um, so that was in cage nine. Uh, they've had some young already, so uh, they know what to do. Uh, cage 7 also should be hatching tomorrow, as is Cage 2, which is Mariah Carey's daughter. And hopefully the Raza. Uh, now, I had two Raza females sitting on eggs. Um, there was uh, one of them were, all hers were infertile. That's the original Raza hen. And so what I've done is I've put the fertile ones on the other hen under her gave the other hen a, a week's break and I put the cock bird back with her so she'll start hopefully laying in another week's time and then we'll have two sets of uh, fertile eggs and some riser chicks uh, just because the other female um, hasn't got fertile eggs doesn't mean she won't be a, a good mother so that'll we'll see how she gets on with those hopefully she'll get on well and um, next week we'll know if, if the, or then we'll know if they're hatching so that should be some really nice news we promised last week to try and get some more footage done of the birds in the aviary. Um, several things happened during the week. Firstly, some of the uh, young lizards out in the aviary, uh, one or two of them were losing the odd feather where they're being plucked by the birds. I assume that's what it is. Um, I didn't want them to go through that. I don't know if they're going to lose feathers. I want them to not get pecked. So I put them all in their own individual cages now inside, uh, a little bit earlier than I normally would. But like I say, uh, I don't want them losing feathers. I want them to molt through nicely when they molt properly, uh, which will be shortly. So 
Round back inside. Um, now, obviously, out in the, in the sun, they're getting um, you know all, all that extra vitamin D and stuff, and it's it's good for the it darkens the beaks, it darkens the feet. Now they are tucking in well to the polygonum I've got growing. It, it's growing like the clappers and got huge leaves as big as your hand coming off it. So, and as soon as I put them in, I'll, I'll give them one or two leaves a day. Eat. I'll put them in and that's straight on them. Uh, eating and chomping into them so that's nice so they're enjoying it as well so hopefully that will be interesting to see actually now they've only had a few weeks out in the aviary that um, you know will that polygonium help and take over and darken the uh, the beak and the and the feet and the legs so yeah we'll I'll keep an eye on that and uh, let you know how that goes so uh, I've got a little snip you've just seen there of uh, the other birds in the aviary the um, Napoleon weavers now he started uh, molting um, I don't know how that's affected the, you know, the lizards, I don't know, but uh, I don't think it has. But he's losing a few feathers and he gets, he molts twice a year. And uh, so he's just going into his breeding plumage. So that'll be a nice little thing to see over the next few weeks. Other things happening in, in uh, this week. Um, unfortunately, uh, I was going to say do a lot of more footy, but my father was taken ill. He's in hospital and I've had to spend most of the week with him in hospital. So... I've not been able, I've been able to look after the birds. I haven't been able to do any footage. So my apologies. This is why there's not much content here uh, this evening. Um, I will try and catch up uh, as, as and when we can. Uh, my father will be okay. Uh, so, um, you know, that, that's one thing. But I do need to spend, obviously, time there. So, yeah, that, that's, that's the next uh, little bit I was going to chat about things happen this week i've joined the southern lizard canary club which is nice um i've sent off my check and i've received a little pamphlet on that so that'll be uh a, a, what i should be a show i should be going to later in the year that was nice and interesting and also after most episodes i have one or two people have a chat about what's happened what I've chatted about uh, uh one of them is uh graham davis hello graham uh, and Graham's been really great on offering advice and tips uh, after most episodes and I've found that really really great uh, fantastic effort thank you very much and what you're seeing here is what he, uh, he suggested he was bringing his birds he also makes a sketch of the patterns of the caps as you know with the lizards uh, you know it can be various different caps most of them are a little bit different so he sketches each one I think it's a cracking little idea um, he said you can soon knock these up on the on the internet on the computer so i should have a little look and maybe make some cards up because i think it would be quite nice it's a nice idea and um, so what he's bringing he also sketches the tops of the heads and that's the markings but markings obviously they'll stick with so graham thank great tip thanks very much for all your other help and all your other tips i really do appreciate that i look forward to them coming in uh, and for everybody else that sends me messages as well thank you very much uh, it's really nice and looking going look forward to going down to the southern this year and uh, seeing how, how well I get on down there should be interesting so we had a little chat about the premature movement of the birds outside in the aviary inside their cages to keep them separate in the cage on their own uh, stop any feather plucking so that they'll now be ready for molting properly um, We've had a little chat, we had some new live, hatch one of them uh, a day early, or three little chicks, one nest a day early, uh, which is fine. And uh, the other thing I'd mentioned on the um, on, on the card at the front was dead dumped. Strange, obviously, uh, you know, we, we have uh, problems when we have uh, birds, or the chicks don't always survive, and it's no different in, in the wild. Um, I've got several nest boxes in the garden and of course I give a nest box to my next door neighbour and where do the blue tits want to nest over the next door neighbour's garden of course now uh, the bad chicks you could hear them uh, they're only a few feet from our back door so you can hear them chirping away and then during the week we heard a dunk on the uh, on the floor of our garden and obviously they'd had dead in the nest as well and the parent bird had just th threw it into our garden, very nice of it, for me to dispose of. Um, but it had feathers, no different from our own. It looked about, I would say, about nine or ten days old. Uh, but it perished in the nest. Not sure why. No evidence of, of why. I uh, don't know how many others there may have been in there in the past. It's difficult to know. 
but yeah, so just one of the things that happens in the wild as well as, uh, you know, in our own aviaries. Um, but yeah, that was dead dumped. Um, so it took it out the nest, it took it out the, the box itself, flew over to our garden into my lovely olive tree and dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Thank you, the blue tip. Quick rundown of what's happening. This cage one, Mariah Carey Bird and her three have jumped onto the sticks. Uh, you've just seen some pictures of those as well. Looking very healthy. She's fed them really well. She's looking to try and go down again. Um, so and she will, and, uh, but not just yet. Uh, not till these chicks are a little bit older, fend for themselves a bit more. So cage two, she's due to hatch her three eggs tomorrow, Monday. Looking forward to seeing that they should be fertile. Uh, cage three, she's now sitting on three eggs. This time I will have to hand feed them until a little tip from Graham. Another tip. Uh, I'll tell you what that is uh, another time. There's one of the young birds uh, just separated off. Uh, that's the cock bird. And look at his, uh, his children and uh, his missus through there. This is cage seven. Uh, she'll be hopefully three Hatching out tomorrow, it should be fertile. There's the three chicks you've just seen a photo of. They're looking quite healthy. Uh, Mum's done a good job there. She's a nice bird as well, the mum, so looking forward to that. Uh, this bird's also, uh, she's the one that's had the uh, cage nine. They've just hatched out today, a day early. There's the Raza, who had the infertile eggs, but she's now sitting on the other Raza's eggs, and they are fertile. Um, these guys, I really like that bird. I hope it does well. Uh, they uh, just started sitting. They'll be two weeks before they hatch. Another one of the young ones uh, in the cage. I've got a little secret blend of seed mix I give them, uh, conditioning mix I give them. I shan't say what it is because it's a secret. My own devices. Uh, and they love it. Uh, they don't at first. It's some, they've got something in they really don't like the taste of, but they get the gist of it. That's a male bird, uh, just chilling out. These guys have just got the one chick. One chick's doing fine. Um, always a bit dubious when it's only the one chick, but, but they're doing well. These guys have had, uh, they've just set their eggs down. Uh, it shows blue plastic eggs there, but they're now sitting on their three eggs, which hopefully will be fertile. And then we've got three more young separated off in their cages. And we'll see how they get on. And that's another week done. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, tick a like, share, jump up and down in the street, uh, do whatever you like. But just enjoy yourself. I uh, hope your birds are doing well. hope you're doing well. Uh, and thank you very much, and I will chat to you next week. Bye-bye now.